beautiful people I hope you're all staying safe and going well today's video is very very exciting because this is my first time ever traveling alone I'm not going to lie I felt very emotional leaving my parents at the airport but at the same time it was also really exciting and I was looking forward to the journey ahead of me on the plane I read Catch Me If You Can. If you haven't read it or watched the movie, I really recommend you do so immediately because it is amazing. Unfortunately, the weather today wasn't too great and it was raining the whole time, so I didn't get to explore the nearby gardens as I intended to, but I did stay in a hotel and do a little tour. Okay, so we got a kettle and we got chocolate powder so we can make hot chocolate. And there is a Woolies for when I go get milk for the hot chocolate. After that, I had a FaceTime with my parents, which was lovely, and of course they showed me my pets because I miss them very much. And unfortunately, my peaceful evening was then interrupted by a fire drill. It's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! <laughs> Okay, so we have gotten it all clear to go back to our rooms. I asked some people in the lift what actually happened. Apparently someone was just cooking. Uh, hopefully not in a Walter White way, just in a cooking way, but yeah, I'm going to try and enjoy the rest of my night. I don't think I can actually fall asleep. I'm just going to be looking up at the alarms like, what's going to happen? But I am going to pack my bags again just in case I have to go. The next day. So on the second day, I went on the highlights of Canberra tour. Unfortunately, the weather still wasn't the best, but our tour guide was still enthusiastic and was able to adapt the circumstances and change the routine based on the weather. So first we went up to Mount Ainley, I'm sorry I probably pronounced that wrong but as always I will be writing the location down here. We saw the most beautiful view of nothing but fog but don't worry we will come back in the afternoon. After that we went to the old parliament house, it was very interesting to see how different it is compared to the new parliament house and I love looking at the replicas. I think what surprised me most about Canberra was how many mountains there were and how close they were to the city, because where I live in Melbourne we have to drive a good 40 minutes or so to get to the mountains. So just a fun fact we learnt at New Parliament House, the shortest serving term was one week and also we named a pool after a Prime Minister who went swimming and missing in the ocean. Aside from learning lots of interesting facts, we also had a delicious lunch so it was an amazing day. Something I really appreciate about the new Parliament House is that it is directly across the war memorial because we would not be here today if it weren't for them. And we did also go to the war memorial afterwards to look at the historical artifacts and have the minute of silence.
Before the end of the tour, the weather did fortunately clear up, so our guide was kind enough to drive us back up the mountains to see the view properly. He also helped take two photos of me, so here's a huge shout out to Neil. Then when I got back to the hotel, I made a master chef worthy exotic dinner of vegan ravioli and Greek salad. I swear today was my lucky day on television because I got to watch The Simpsons, Doctor Who and Deadpool all in one night, which are some of my favourite movies and shows ever. So that was definitely my favourite way to end a night in Canberra. The next day. So today was definitely one of the days I looked forward to the most because I went to the National Zoo and Aquarium. I got encounters with the tree kangaroo and the sun bear, both of which I'm really excited for. So I arrived extra early to have a look at the other animals and learn my way around the place. I do also have a separate video for the full videos of the animal encounters just so it wouldn't take up too much time here. I will be linking it below as well so please go check it out if you're interested. Unfortunately, the next morning I woke up to yet another false alarm. Every day I wake up! So it definitely wasn't the best way to start the day. But hey, like I say, travel is 10% location and 90% attitude. But luckily my day got so much better almost immediately because I went back to the zoo and today I was there for the white lion and giraffe encounters. These little guys were some of my favourite animals at the zoo because they look so much like my guinea pig Kobu who I miss and as you can see I had a wonderful time at the encounters and a lovely lunch as well so if I'm ever back in Canberra I would definitely come back to the National Zoo and Aquarium. And as always, when I completed the activity during the day, I went back to the hotel and just watched TV and edited this vlog. So today is actually my last full day in Canberra and it feels unreal because I've really enjoyed my time here. Um, I don't have anything specific planned for today, so I think what I'm going to do is just look around on the internet to see what gardens or other attractions there are nearby and just work from there. Honestly, I think the biggest struggle with solo travel is not having anyone to take photos for you, especially with no tripod, so you just have to use a chair or wall or anything you can find to try and make it work. So now that I'm back at the hotel and there's still some time before dinner, I'm just going to check in for my flight tomorrow, book some activities for my trip to Sydney and work on my assignments. So 
So yeah, after that I just spent the night packing and watching The Sound of Music, which honestly made me want to impulsively buy a ticket to Vienna. Unfortunately that won't be happening in the next few years, but I do have more solo travel videos in Australia coming up really soon. The next... <laughs> the next morning... It is so unbelievable how quickly time goes by when you're having fun because after five beautiful days in Canberra, it was time for me to say goodbye and head on to my next journey to Sydney. I feel so grateful to have experienced such an amazing time travelling alone in such a beautiful city. It's almost been one month since I went travelling there, but even now I'm still at a loss for words. I'm trying to not get too emotional, but it marks the beginning of a new chapter of travel in my life. If you made it all the way here, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned for my trip to Sydney and anything else that may happen in this capybara lover's life. Feel free to comment about your experiences traveling in Australia. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe and have a great day.